things that I really, really miss about being vegan is dips. So I know there's some vegan dips around, but my favorite was always French onion dip. So I have found a way to be able to do that. So we're going to need a plantain. So plantains are a little bit like bananas, but they're not the same. So this one is a bit riper than what it normally would be. I was waiting to use it for a dessert, but that'll be peckish. So what I'm going to do to start off, I'm going to put a slit down the side and I'm going to pop this into the microwave for seven minutes. All right, while that's cooking, let's get started on the rest of the filling. So I have here some silken tofu. So I'll just pop that open and drain out some of the liquid. Not much liquid in there. All right. Silken tofu into my Nutribullet. Excellent. And now we want some flavours to kind of mimic the sour cream and uh, the cheesy flavour because historically I'd make mine with sour cream and Philadelphia cream cheese and mix them together. So we're just looking for that sort of tartness that you get from those products. So a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of citric acid. If you don't want to use citric acid, you can always put a little bit more of the apple cider vinegar in there. But I'm just going to... Well, it's gotten all hard, so... To avoid spilling too much, I'm just going to do it on my spoon. So I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon going in. And also to give it that sort of cream cheese vibe, I'm going to put in some nutritional yeast. Now, nutritional yeast has that yummy, cheesy flavour. Um, it's really a vegan's best friend. But not only does it taste delicious and add some umami flavours and cheesy flavours to your dishes, it's also really, really healthy for you. So it helps you get some of the nutrients that typically vegans lack. So, I don't know. yeah, I'm going to go in heavy with three heaping teaspoons of that. And I think that I won't put any salt in because I'm going to use a packet mix and this is already quite salty. You can buy the salt produced one if you want even less salt. But when I'm in a savoury mood, I kind of like me a little bit of salt. So I'm going to do that just as is. Now the plantain is going to thicken this up somewhat. So we are going to need some plant milk. So I don't currently have any um, plant milk made up, so I'm just going to use this. I'll show you what it is. Milk base. So you just pop a little bit of that in and a little bit of water in. So, just pop the water in. Alright, so I'm not really fussy with my measurements. Let me know, comment below if you'd really prefer me to be a bit more specific about um, the measurements. I guess in this case, it depends on how you like your dip, whether you like it runny or fur. So while we're waiting for the plantain, let me just get it out. Woo! She's hot! Okay, while we're waiting for the plantain to cool down, let's just pop on a plate. So normally the, the, dip, the chips that I use for the dip, I will make up. A, some chips out of chickpea flour, so a bit of chickpea flour, a bit of water, you know, a few other little bits and pieces, and I'll bake them in the oven. And they come out yummy and crispy. And I'm pretty sure there's already a video of mine to show you how to do that. But I was kind of thinking I wanted something a bit lighter and a bit crispier. So what I originally thought is I would make some red lentil pancakes, and then I would cut them up and then crisp them up in the oven. But I've Obviously, I haven't soaked my lentils because I only thought about that on the drive home. Incidentally, I've been out for dinner, uh, sorry, for lunch with my girlfriend today, so that's why I'm a little bit dressed up. Not that you guys aren't worth dressing up for, but that's why. Anyway, I have this, um, I made some just egg substitute the other day. Um, lots of recipes out for that, but essentially that is mung beans and water blended up with a few of your favourite spices. 
so what I thought is I would make pancakes out of this mix and then cut them up and put them in the oven and see how it goes. But in order for that to be as crispy as what I wanted it to be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some into the bowl and actually add some more baking powder in them. I'm going to make them big because actually let's just make one big one, save ourselves some time. Get all of that in there. Actually, that might have made it too thick, but it's an experiment anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Try and give myself some room to flip it. Alright, all right, that's starting to get some bubbles on the top. And looking a bit dry around the edges, but I think I'm going to give that another little minute. The trouble with making it this big is it's going to be really hard to get my spatula in there. Hmm. Oh, it's not working as good as what I wanted, but... Uh, so, now we are going to peel this plantain. It's still a little bit hot, so I'm going to be a bit careful. Maybe it's a little gooey and squishy. I think that's enough cooking. Uh, let's chop her up a little bit. Into our mixture. Cool. I'm not sponsored by them, but wow, I use this every day. Woo! Look how thick that's already got. I think it's gonna work. Mmm. I think. I'm going to put a little bit more water in that. It's easy consistency. It's sort of really thick. And once I put the French onion soup in, it'll thicken a bit more. So I probably added about an eighth of a cup of water then. Okay, so for some reason my camera keeps cutting out after a few minutes of filming. So, what you missed was, I added a whole packet of French onion soup um, to that yummy mix that we made before. And this is what it looks like. See, it's got a bit of a wobble, but I reckon that is going to thicken up. Can you imagine how good that's gonna look on your, on your charcuterie board or, you know, with your Friday night little platter? All right, so let's have a look at how I went with the second pancake. Look at that, so much better. So I reckon cut this baby up and chuck it in the oven for about 10 minutes to crisp up and we will have delicious crackers. So I'll see you back here when it's all done and maybe we'll share a glass of wine together. See you soon. Okay, so the second lot of crackers turned out really well. So they're crunchy. Yeah, do have a little eggy taste, but they're pretty good. But let's try this dip. See the texture? Oh, hang on, pull it. See the texture? Oh my gosh. So that's. Pretty much how I remember them.